Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure. I'm Buffy Harakidis of JSA, and joining me today is Bruno Berti. He is the SVP of Product and Sales Strategy for NTT Global Data Centers. Bruno, welcome. Welcome. Thank you, actually. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to have NTT. Uh, Global Data Center is one of the biggest and best names in our industry here chatting with JSA TV about what's new on the sustainability front. Obviously, one of JSA's pillars, obviously one of NTT Global Data Center's pillars. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about what's new on that sustainability sure. front? It's always an interesting topic, especially in data centers and what's going on with AI about sustainability. Of course. Because there's, in the last few years there is that conversation of I need to get as much power, as much data center capabilities and as fast as possible. And a lot of yeah. companies were wondering if they should be ignoring the sustainability goals and sustainability to get that power sooner. But the one, thing's, one thing from NTT's perspective that we made some net zero sustainability goals and our commitment has always been to net, be net zero on scope one, scope two by 2030 and scope four by tw or scope three by 2040. So we've never veered off of those goals. So all of our growth, all of our exp expansion that we've been doing uh, in the last few years has kept that at the forefront of our designs, our focus, and it's kind of ingrained in our culture. So we've always focused on keeping that sustainability. And for us, sustainability isn't just green power. We yep. obviously are committing to green power to get to that net zero. And I think we're at 51% of our commitment today. Impressive. But for us, it's also innovation in some of the technologies that we implement in our data centers. And I think that's the one thing from a data center perspective that I love about this industry is that innovation and efficiency has always been ingrained in the culture of the data centers because efficiency means money. Yeah. The more efficient we build it, the, the better money. we can be and the more savings we have. So it's been very focused and we've never veered off of that sustainability goal, even given the crazy growth that we've all been experiencing. Well, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it's important to stay committed to that goal, especially this critical goal exactly. of making the world a greener, more sustainable place for not just us, but for future generations exactly. to come. And one of those trends uh, in helping meet these goals is liquid cooling. Right. Exactly. So we're hearing about liquid cooling over and over again. Uh, years ago, we were hearing it was a concept and now it's coming to life. What, tell us some of the latest trends when it comes to liquid cooling. I think uh, the interesting thing with what the new chipsets in technology have really driven is we couldn't cool them in the traditional ways. So a couple of years ago, uh, liquid cooling has been around for a long time um, and it's always been small scale liquid cooling. But now with some of this GPU architecture that's going out, it's uh, megawatt racks yeah. um, that are being talked about. We're implementing racks that are 120 kW. And just to give some perspective, three years ago, our customers were putting 10 kilowatts in a rack. So that's like a tenfold increase. And in order to do that, we've had to innovate on the liquid cooling side. And we've had to innovate because there are no standards. So the, some of the innovation is how we distribute that liquid to the racks. What kind of technology do we use to exchange and basically get that heat out of the building? And I think for me, as an engineer product guy, that's been one of the most interesting things that we've been working with our clients on. And how can we do this liquid? How can we implement it? And how do we get this phenomenal IT equipment right. inside of the data center? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that liquid cooling... Uh, is not just a trend, you know, anymore. Oh, it's it's, the, it's mandatory. Yeah, and it's here. Stage. We're implementing yeah, hundreds of megawatts. Yeah, yeah, with the liquid cooling. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us some of the highlights about the show. Now, I have to say, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not supposed to be partial, but the NTT event last night was definitely one of the best um, of all the conferences this year so far. You know, you know, your late night party at PTC is always a hit. And last night, you guys outdid yourselves uh, with the party and the beautiful venue overlooking the whole uh, can landscape. It was absolutely amazing. Why don't you tell us some of the highlights from last night and, of course, uh, some of the highlights from this amazing 20th anniversary of Data Cloud Global. Well, thanks for the kind words on the event we had. We always love that event because it's usually the last night 
So everyone's had all day meetings, everyone's been meeting clients, been meeting customers and suppliers. So it's a great way to just sort of end yeah. the uh, conference. So we do it at PTC, we did it at CAN. And to your point, the views here are spectacular. So it Gorgeous. was just great to be on the rooftop talking to the industry and people that we've known for many, many years. And I have to say, so yesterday was interesting in that I think this is the biggest attendance we've ever had at this conference. Definitely was. we were packed at our event by the end of the night and there was no stopping it. So it was kind of neat to see all the people there, everyone enjoying themselves, enjoying the beautiful views that we were experiencing. So we love uh, the way we end those events and we are not going to stop doing that. Please don't uh, <laughs> because we enjoy each and every one and thanks so much for having JSA there. And thanks so much for joining us today for our last episode of JSA TV here from beautiful Cannes, France for Data Cloud Global 20th edition, 2025. Thanks so much viewers for tuning in. Bruno, thanks again. Thank you, NTT. Thank you.